Hi, I'm Joni Marks, a three-time international best-selling author and the creator of three online courses for Udemy.com. And I want to welcome you to this video, which is the companion to my article, Being Carefree After 60, for 60 and Me readers. This video is about how to be carefree. And if often you have said to yourself or you said to others, well, I can't be carefree. I've got more important responsibilities. It takes a long time and a lot of inner work on yourself and healing to understand that your well-being and you, is your priority. It's your highest priority. But as women, we never believe that and we always go to feeling of guilt. But think about this. If you've been on an airplane where they have, every time they have that safety video, and when they show the airbags being deployed, they say, always put your airbag on first and then help others. And what you see is always a woman who's very calm. She puts her airbag on and then she turns to the child and puts their airbag on. So this is the epitome of taking care of yourself as well as taking care of others, but doing in the proper sequence. So in this video, we are going to look at insights and suggestions for how we can get back to where we were as children when we were naturally carefree. It was as natural as breathing. Only now as adults, we have trouble with that or we block ourselves from being carefree. So look at that darling little girl. How did we women of our generation get to the point where our well-being was not our number one responsibility? As children, being carefree was as natural as breathing. But then we had it drilled into our young, impressionable minds that being carefree was irresponsible. Whether it was strict rules in our home, at school, or later in life, at work, to be carefree could get us into serious trouble. And what about when we took time to be carefree as adults? For women in our generation, most of us were raised and educated to be people pleasers. This meant everyone else's needs and wants came before ours. Whether we worked for a company or we had our own business or were stay-at-home mothers, the time frame for being carefree was mostly limited to short predetermined periods of time or not at all. Therefore, most of us justified the need to exhaust ourselves before we felt we had earned the right to be carefree. But that was never enough, right? Because we had to give ourselves permission to enjoy being carefree without feeling guilty. And how often did that happen? If you can relate to those examples, you are not alone. But let's think, that was then and this is now. So what we're going to talk about now is how to regain our sense of carefreeness the same way as it is just natural to breathe. And I'm going to go through some examples and some insights that we can all use. Some of you may have mastered the graceful art of being carefree after 60. Many of you may still be struggling with this. Is it possible that you are holding yourself back because you feel that if you became more carefree, you would be shamed and blamed as being selfish, irresponsible, or even crazy? If so, I invite you to look closely at your life and see what may be holding you back from being even more carefree. This is where the idea of becoming a trailblazer in your own life will be helpful. 
And when we think about the word trailblazer, we are going to reframe it as to how that works and how that helps you in your individual life. Based on how most of us perceive trailblazers, they often seem bigger than life. And their accomplishments are usually relegated to areas of life such as the politics and business, the environment, technology, medicine, sports, or the creative arts. What if, however, a trailblazer is someone who paves a new path to true love, to happiness, and fulfillment? by choosing to no longer forsake their well-being through limiting beliefs about life. Hmm, how can you become such a trailblazer by being more carefree? Let's now look at how we can answer those questions we just posed. And I'm going to go through three suggestions to talk about that and to help us. To be a trailblazer in your life by being more carefree is not a luxury. It is essential. It is also a radical act of personal freedom. So how do you accomplish this? One, let go of control for how you believe things should be. Two, go with the flow. Three, have fun. I invite you to visit 60andme.com to read my article, which has more details on what these three steps look like. Now we're going to finish up with journal prompts to help integrate what we've been talking about and what you've been learning today. Create some time to journal your answers to the following one. How would my life be improved if I let go of the idea that being carefree at my age means being irresponsible or requires having enough money, time, or youth on my side? Two, how would my life change for the better if I embrace the idea I am the most important person in my life? And three, what limiting beliefs about being carefree are holding me back from enjoying my life to the fullest? And fourth, what areas of my life can I be more carefree in? Thank you so much for watching this video and reading the article on 60 and Me. And for more information on my online courses, please go to udemy.com and type my name, Joni Marks, in. And until we meet again and I like to suggest that you look into your mirror every morning and say to yourself, I am my own best friend, for I came into this world to be myself, for that I came. And I look forward to you joining me on the next video for 60 and Me. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.